now that we've all reacted to the 2023 Toyota Prius Hybrid's surprising new design, it's finally time to dig into the details of what's underneath the redesigned body. Toyota has released full specifications covering the powertrain, dimensions, interior space, and perhaps most importantly fuel economy ratings. The most efficient version of the new Prius is the LA with front-wheel drive, rated at 57 combined. Adding all-wheel drive drops that number to 54 and opting for the Hyrex Selly and limited trim levels with their larger wheels and tires and extra equipment pushes the combined figure down to 52 with front-wheel drive and 49 with all-wheel drive. Now that we've all reacted to the 2023 Toyota Prius Hybrid's surprising new design, it's finally time to dig into the details of what's underneath the redesigned body. Toyota has released full specifications covering the powertrain, dimensions, interior space, and perhaps most importantly fuel economy ratings. The most efficient version of the new Prius is the LA with front-wheel drive, rated at 57 combined. Adding all-wheel drive drops that number to 54 and opting for the Hyrex Selly and limited trim levels with their larger wheels and tires and extra equipment pushes the combined figure down to 52 with front-wheel drive and 49 with all-wheel drive. The main electric motor that serves as a motor generator and powers the front wheels is also more potent than before. At 111 HP, the other rear electric motor that powers the rear wheels in the AWD models now makes 40 HP. The drivetrain's combined output sits at 194 HP for FWD models and 196 HP for AWD models. The plug-in hybrid Prius Green is even more powerful at 220 HP, but we don't have full specs on that model quite yet. Suppose you were wondering whether the Prius's low-slung shape would affect interior space negatively. In that case, you might be disappointed or vindicated to discover that the new model has less passenger and cargo volume than before. Toyota claims 91 cubic feet of passenger space, down from 93 cubic feet for the old model, and just 20 cubic feet of cargo space with the seats up in XLE and limited models. The LA has a bit more space back there, but even its 24 cubic feet of space is less than the old car's 27 cubic feet. We'll have to see how many carry-on suitcases we can fit inside the new model, but it's safe to assume that it'll accommodate less than the six suitcases we work in the old Prius with the seats up. Perhaps shockingly, the new Prius is less aerodynamic than the old one. Toyota claims a drag coefficient of 0.27 compared with the old car 0.24. Dimensionally, it's 1.1 inches longer, 0.9 inches wider, and between 1.82 inches lower than before, depending on trim level. The wheelbase has grown by 2 inches, which helps the rear legroom increase by an inch. But headroom is down for both front and rear seat passengers. The Prius isn't exactly meant for off-roading, but those with treacherous driveways will be glad to know that ground clearance is up by between 0.5 and 0.7 inches.